Now, Peter Gabriel, the former lead singer of rock band Genesis, winged into London today to top the bill at the first concert ever to be held at the Crystal Palace Football Stadium on Saturday. The concert is to raise cash for the anti-apartheid movement, and it's Gabriel's first appearance in London for two years. In the early 70s, Gabriel was famed for his extravagant clothing and showmanship as the vocalist with Genesis. Then, in 1975, he went solo, keeping his powerful experimental style and his reputation for being a shy loner. His biggest solo hit so far has been Games Without Frontiers, which soared up the charts back in 1980. If looks could kill, they probably will in Games Without Frontiers, War Without Tears. Well, now, three years later, he's released five solo albums and eight singles altogether, containing many songs with a social message. The Crystal Palace concert is not his first gift to charity. He donated the royalties from his song Wallflower, about political prisoners, to Am Amnesty International. And his latest single, I Don't Remember, is also a message song containing much of the bizarre imagery and electronic gadgetry that he's famous for. Well, Peter Gabriel's here with his Italian tan. Why haven't you played in London for so long? Why has it been two years? They don't let me out very often. Uh, and I think I'm not a very fast worker, so... Um, with the other projects that I like to uh, play around with, the actual uh, cycle process of album touring is a little slower for me than for some others. Yes, I get the impression that you spend a long time on each of your songs, sort of crafting them all with the sounds and the lyrics being sort of equally important, really. Is that right? Yeah, I think it, it does... Uh, take me quite a while and, and there's other peripheral activities too which uh, occupy me. What, like what? Um, well, the Womad Festival last year was uh, one of these things which was a, an attempt to introduce musicians from different parts of the world uh, with rock musicians who'd been influenced by some of their music. You're very influenced yourself by music from all parts of the world, aren't you? Where do you get most of your influences from? Well, firstly, uh, I have no pretenses about playing African music or any other type of music. I, I think of myself playing as a European musician, but there are some uh, rhythms, for instance, just patterns which I can steal and program into my rhythm machine and then try writing stuff around it. And rhythm is like the spine of a piece of music, and the body that forms around it uh, will vary according to the shape of the rhythm pattern uh, mm. that you start with. You also program some very strange sounds into your synthesizers, don't you? You go to factories and, and uh, play sort of bits of metal pipe and so on. Yeah, no, I had a lot of fun. I always dreamt of an instrument that uh, would enable one to take any natural sound and manipulate it and then put it up on a keyboard. And uh, some Australians in invented such a thing a few years back. And I've been using one of these now and it, so I can go and play with all sorts of odd noises that people perhaps wouldn't normally consider as a source material for, for, for music and uh, have a lot of fun doing it. Do you feel that you have a real responsibility to sort of break new ground with your music and to say something worthwhile, make people think? Um, well, breaking new ground, I personally will only find it interesting, I think, as long as I'm trying to challenge myself in some way or another. Uh, and as far as making people think, I think music uh, that is purely entertainment uh, has has its place, but I think a lot of rock needs to be aware of the world in which it's living. And uh, whereas my prime purpose is not to preach, uh, I'm interested in uh, some sort of awareness of what's going yes, on. Yes, and you've involved yourselves in a, a, lot of, a lot of charities, human rights charities, including this anti-apartheid concert on at Selhurst Pass at Crystal Palace. So I wish you lots of luck with that. Any Thanks surprises in it? Uh, well, not uh, especially. I think this is the first time we've done this particular batch of uh, We we'll look forward to that. I hope you raise lots of money. Peter Gabriel, thank you Thanks. very much. Brian.